turned the TV on with the on button underneath the right hand side and then we pulled the tab out of the remote. And now we can go ahead and set up the TV using this remote. All right, so this is the Samsung remote. And you're gonna look on this, this kind of looks kind of like Amazon ones. It's got the circle on it. So if you wanna move to the right, you click this side. If you wanna move to the left, this side. If you wanna go up, you click up and down. And then when you get to what you need, you click that internal part right there. And then up here is your off and on button. You can press that. And that's how that works. And you're going to need to know that once we start setting up this TV. Two simple options. How would you like to get started? So click on remote. Next, click on auto setup. And now it's going to be searching for the Wi-Fi signal. Choose the network you want to connect to and click on it. Next, you have to enter your password. I'm going to blur it so you guys can't see it. Once you have it all filled in, you can go up to show password just to double check it. Then navigate down to go and click on it. Next, you're going to see this page here. It says wireless connection, success, your TV is connected, terms and conditions, privacy policies. All right, click on agree to all and then click on OK and bam, we're moving on to the third page, I hope. It's checking for a software update. We've got a new update, so we're just gonna go ahead and click now and install it. And I sped this portion up. I mean, this took a pretty good amount of time, so you have to be patient for it to work its way through. All right, the TV is gonna turn off for a couple of seconds, then it's gonna show Samsung, then QLED, and then it's gonna ask you to set up an account with Samsung. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on create an account or a new account, click on it with a remote and it gives me this QR code that I've got to scan with my phone. Just open up the photo app on your iPhone and scan that QR code. Hit that yellow tab and it takes you to the website. And then you're gonna see a little blue button on there and you have to click that. You, even though it just says sign in, you gotta click it anyway. And it's gonna give you this other page. Navigate down to where it says create an account. You gotta click on there. Opens up a page where you have to enter an email and then choose a password. Then enter your name, your birth date, and your zip code and then hit next. And then you have to do a two-step verification through email. Once you've got the code, you go back to the website and enter it. All right, we're going to go ahead and we're going to scan this QR code on my phone. I'm going to click that little yellow tab there and we're just going to go to sign in and see if it will allow us to sign in off of that other information. All right, so it opens up this page, sign into your account. You got to pick the email that you're going to use. It fills the email area. Then you're going to hit next and then it's going to ask for the password and I have it saved in my uh, blockchain and there it is and I'm just going to go ahead and hit click in and save. And I hit agree, and bam, Bob's your uncle. I'm in my Samsung account. Now we've got a two step verification. I gotta get that, I gotta copy it, I gotta go to the website, I gotta click it in, I gotta paste it, and then I'm just gonna hit verify. Bam, Bob's your uncle. And we're in like Flynn, hopefully. Register, uh, I don't think so, I'm not gonna register a credit card. And if you look on there, it says, Tom, you are signed into your Samsung account. I'm in. Next, just click got it, and we go to the next page, which is more security. They want you to create a pen and enter it in here. Boy, oh boy, they're really being secure, aren't they? So enter a six-digit pen and write it down somewhere so you don't forget it. So then I clicked on the remote OK, and it takes me to this page. So I just go ahead and agree to all. And then I click on OK, and it redirects us to another page, which is... Every heap area, no, I'm going to skip that. All right, next they want your zip code. So I'm going to go ahead and plug that in there. Then navigate over to done and click done. And uh, yeah, we should be looking for our devices now. You know, whatever. We got one thing that's unknown. This is going to be a long video. Devices are connected. All right, so we're going to go next. Oh, let's go ahead and hit that. All right, your screen was unable to identify any connected cable or satellite boxes. Okay. And that's it for your Samsung account. You are uh, signed in, ready to go. Now you can finish the setup by uh, hooking up your voice activation and all of your apps. All right, if you like this video, subscribe to my channel and check out my other awesome videos.